Hey, here's your next uh, slice, <laughs> slice of slice from the top floor. Um, yeah, in the middle of packing, I'm still here in Germany, and uh, I'm. Uh, the, I, I, talk, I talked to you about the checklist thing. I have used it. I have spent uh, three hours yesterday. Well, two two hours yesterday, maybe three hours today to get everything together and my checklist is working so well i'm so relaxed um just thought i'd let you know so yeah have everything uh, packed it's kind of heavy but that's because well it's not it's not overweight my luggage but kind of heavy because i'm bringing a few things for our participants that weigh something but uh yeah we'll see so tomorrow is uh is my flight to Moscow where we'll do before the Siberia to before Lake Baikal we'll do a bit of an extension there a few days to uh, see Moscow and uh, visit some sites there which I've done several times and I even have the same guide that we used to have a few times ago J Julia she's a photographer and she's taken us around and It's going to show us a few things and then uh, we'll also explore some of the markets in Moscow. That's one thing I really love doing is to go to markets um, at the destinations because they are so not pretentious usually. No postcards of them, just regular people doing regular stuff. That's the kind of market I'm looking for. Uh, food market with just normal people. So many great street opportunities there so that's one of the things that we'll do during the extension and then after that we'll take off from moscow to irkutsk in siberia and uh, yeah that's it for now all right a bit of a change in pace what you're hearing is the um what's the name of the station Komsomolskaya. Komsomolskaya. so this is julia she's our guide here in moscow and uh we're just doing a tour of the moscow subway which is photographically just amazing because uh i think stalin built this and it's yeah. sorry for the noise in the background um let's wait for the train to leave so Stalin built this because he just loved uh, expensive architecture, right? Oh, not only for this reason. In fact, he needed the metro uh, for transportation and for military purposes. But he decorated it highly because uh, he liked beautiful architecture. Yeah. Yes, this is So true. this is like full of ornaments and, and mosaics and beautiful light fixtures. And here's the next train. I think I'll stop now. I'll be back in a minute with something else. Ah, a bit uh, less noisy here. <laughs> I'm back in the hotel. We um, finished our day tour today in uh, Moscow, which is part of the two-day extension that, uh, that we tacked onto the front of our Lake Baikal tour. So, yeah, first day uh, had Julia as our guide, who is um, who has been our guide for a few other times we've been here. She's great. She knows everything. She knows what photographers like so she's uh, she she took us to the right places of course including the the most important landmarks today is kind of the yeah let me call it the touristy day but if you're here in moscow you have to see the red square you have to see the kremlin which by the way is the heart of moscow it used to be only moscow the kremlin if you don't have a if you don't know what to Imagine uh, the Kremlin is like a fortress. It's a it's a city inside the city. It has a wall around it. It used to be Moscow, and then it started to grow on the outside. There are so many Kremlins here; you'd be surprised. So, yeah, we uh, went in there. Of course, saw the cathedrals in there. There are several cathedrals in there, um, and we just, as you heard, finished off the day with uh, visiting some of the famous metro stations here. The Moscow Metro is quite something. I mean, it runs like clockwork. And the trains, really, every two minutes there's a train, maybe less than two minutes. It's really bang, 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 bang. It's very super efficient. And uh, we got around really quickly. So if you come to Moscow, 
the metro is the way to go. It gets you almost everywhere and quick at that and not expensive. And uh, tomorrow we're going to take uh, the metro and go to two markets. One is a food market and the other is... Ah, it's hard to explain. It's a souvenir market, but then it's right next to another Kremlin that is now kind of used as a place where people hold weddings. And from a photography point of view, it's just wonderful. And uh, then there's a flea market. And so we'll be doing some street photography on the markets and have our lunch there. And then after that, back to the hotel grab our stuff, head to the airport, because tomorrow night we'll fly to Irkutsk in Siberia. And we're at the next stop. Little uh, night session ahead. I'm in the hotel lobby waiting for our driver because uh, yeah, the day is not over yet. We are going to uh, take the tripods out and find a few places there is a couple of spots that i've already been to that i know that are really good for some long exposures with uh, some bigger buildings reflecting in the water of the moskva river um, then there's the christ the saber cathedral which is kind of it's a weird place but it looks really nice and at night uh, it's really interesting with all the lights and everything around it so there will be some uh, some good opportunities and yeah we'll just be out for like a couple of hours maybe uh, to go to some of those spots and then yeah, then the day is really over The next station is Alexandrovsky Sun Будьте осторожны, выходя из вагона. So, it's the next day and uh, we have finished our our main uh, market tour of the two markets. Uh, again, it was super easy to get around with the metro. And uh, yeah, sorry, I didn't record anything while there because um, we we're just way too busy. But um, it was <laughs> fun. The, the, the second market, by the way, it's called Ismailovsky Market. Um, is Yeah, it, it was exactly as I wanted it to be. Um, last time I was there, it was a bit smaller. And this time there were so many sellers, flea market, everything you could imagine. Of course, souvenirs, but also just, just the, the, the thing that I kind of expect from a flea market, which is people bringing stuff from their homes and selling it there. So you saw uh, a really good insight into Russian life, into what Russians um, <laughs> consider uh, they don't need anymore and want to sell. Um, yeah, everything you could imagine. So that was really fun. And we are pretty much on our way to the airport and uh, we will yeah, take off uh, later tonight to Siberia. And then I guess that's where I end this episode. And then the next one will be from Siberia. <laughs>